full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, and as it is now, and as it shall be, 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 and as it and lead all souls to heaven, especially those of our sweet of others. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. The fruit of the mystery, humility. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, grace for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, grace Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And as I was in the beginning, this is now, and it shall be all the world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the heavens of heaven, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are sweet of thy mercy. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. The fruit of the mystery is charity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord 
grace with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, 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 full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are speaking of ours. The third joyful mystery, the nativity, the fruit of the mystery, Poverty and spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. And lead all souls to heaven, especially those in mercy and in thy mercy. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation, the fruit of the mystery, obedience. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in our need of our mercy. This fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. The fruit of the mystery is joy in finding Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, praise our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, praise our sinners. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire to hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of our mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of thee. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in the sky with tears. Turn thy most gracious out of the thy eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show not to us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, the Holy Mother of God. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant we beseech thee that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may meditate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Thank you for joining me at Jim Mary in the first Saturday of Rosary. And Sonia will be handing out some prayer cards. If you could like one, she would be more than happy to share it with you. Thank you.
which Lily knows. Would anyone else like some information about the region? Yeah. Anyone else?
Good evening, and welcome to St. Bernadette's Missionary Discipleship Family. Today we celebrate the Epiphany of the Lord. We ask that you please silence your phone and prepare your heart to celebrate the sacred liturgy. The Magi from the East recognized a helpless infant as king of all the nations. Come, let us adore him. Our celebrant is Father Delphine. Please stand and join us in singing. so that the power of salvation may be shared by all. And so come together as God's family on this feast of Epiphany with confidence. Let us ask the Lord's forgiveness that we may worship Him with a purified heart. Let us pause for a while and ask the Lord for pardon us. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, God bless you. Lord Jesus, your presence filled the hearts of the Magi with great joy. Christ, God bless you. Lord Jesus, you come to bring light to our darkened world with the splendor of your grace. Lord, God bless you. And by Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting.
Let us pray. May the splendor of your majesty, O Lord, we pray, shed its light upon our hearts, that we may pass through the shadows of this world and reach the brightness of our eternal home. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Let us offer this Mass for the gift of blood, the birthday of Gary Thompson as he celebrates his 75th birthday, as well as for Cherry Bipahini. Special intentions of Arthur and Dalit Trejo and family, and a special prayer for Stella Trejo, and for the health of Imelda Byron's and for the souls of C and Melda Pigli, Dilma Braguera Isidoro, Joseph Cozy, for Renato Magbalbay, Edna Tabi Cabrera, Elizabeth Cruz, Carol Henry, Marlene Tabato Asan, Emilia Rita Cachola Taban, Adela Fontanilla. And Jennifer Robertson. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of God shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and from your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you. Dormadiers from Median and Ephraim, all from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and fragrances, and proclaiming the praise of the Lord. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise of Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written to the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler, who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly, and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. This celebration or feast day is very famous. And you know that after Christmas, after that New Year, that first Sunday, we celebrate 
the Epiphany Sunday, or what we call the Feast of the Magi. It is called Epiphany because Jesus revealed Himself not only to the Jews, the chosen people, as they say, we are the chosen people, not only to them, but also to pagan visitors. Imagine pagan. But Jesus revealed Himself. Meaning to say, Jesus revealed Himself not only to the chosen one, but to all. You know, epiphany from the Greek term, epiphanein. This is from the Greek term. Means manifestation or revelation. So epiphany means to make known or to reveal. So today's celebration focuses on our Lord's manifestation to all men and the women of goodwill, of His divinity, or in His human forms, in the person of the infant Jesus Christ. So the Gospel reading today reminds us of the Magi. You know, Magi, this Magi, who represent the Gentiles and all non-Jewish peoples of the world, even though, you know, non-Jewish, so they pay homage to Jesus. This very act of worship by the wise men, or what we call the three kings, which is related to the prophecy of Simeon, that this child Jesus would be, you remember the prophecy of Simeon? A light for revelation to the Gentiles was one of the first signs that Jesus was sent by the Father to save all mankind, regardless of race, regardless of gender, and that the work of God in the world is universal. So now, when the Magi found Jesus, they offered him three gifts. And maybe you know the gifts, right? The gifts, as the Gospel relates, the gifts of gold, frankincense, and beer. So let us turn to the symbolism of these gifts. It's very important that we understand why these three kings offered this kind of gifts. So why? Now, the first gift was the gold. You know, among ancient people, gold was regarded as what? The blank of metals, gold. What is that? Have you heard that one? The king of metals, gold. King of metals. So it was therefore the ideal gift for a king. And the Magi gave Jesus all their love. Love as pure like the gold. Solid, lasting and as purified from selfish motives. They wanted to love Jesus with all their heart and mind. So God symbolizes fidelity and perseverance. Their love was sincere. So that gold, as they offered to Jesus, as the king of metals. The second gift is what we call the frankincense. You know, ancient people use incense in their religious worship. You know that frankincense, the aroma and smoke ascending upward to heaven. It spoke to them of gods and divinity. So the gift of incense, therefore, is a symbol of the divinity of Jesus. If that gold is about the king, so now, this frankincense or this incense is a symbol of divinity of Jesus. It tells us that Jesus, you know, always had the nature of God, but became like man and appeared in human likeness. So, you know, frankincense or the incense has been used as a symbol of adoration. And the Magi adored Jesus as God. You know, even today, 
We use incense in the liturgy as a sign of worship, especially if there are special occasions. In particular, we, we incense the gospel. Have you seen that during the special occasion or celebration? Deacon or priest incense the gospel, which Jesus is present in this gospel. This is his word. The altar representing Christ. Altar represents Christ. And the gifts of bread and wine on the altar, which will become the body and blood of Christ. That's why when you observe, when we use the incense, right? We incense the altar, we incense the book, the gospel. After that, after we put that water or that blood or that water and wine for the consecration, we incense it again. That symbolizes Jesus. That incense symbolizes the divinity of Jesus. The third gift was mirror. Among ancient people, mirror was what? It was used to prepare the dead for burial. For example, the women brought mirror to the tomb of Jesus. It was in the tomb of Jesus because of mirror's relationship with death. It made an ideal symbol of human vulnerability. The gift of mirror, therefore, is symbolic of the humanity of Jesus. It speaks to us of Jesus' human vulnerability. Like us, you know, Jesus experienced the whole range of human emotions. You know, the sorrow. Jesus experienced those. The joy, the fear, the frustration, the loneliness, the anger, and others. Jesus experienced those. So he was like us in all things. But sin. So you see, you can see that this gifts is about the king and the, human, the divinity and the humanity of Jesus. It is important for us to understand why these three kings offer this to our Lord Jesus Christ. So my dear sisters and brothers, like the Magi, let us give our love, our fidelity, and perseverance in sincerity to Jesus. Let us offer Him our prayer, not only our prayer, and our human weaknesses too. But specifically like the Magi, let us have first the ability to see. The wise man saw the star, right? And they followed. So what is the meaning? God tells us not to see with our physical eyes but to see with our hearts because God is in our hearts. That is His favorite place within us, our hearts. The ability to see. The second, like the Magi, let us have the ability to search. The wise men were searching for Christ and they wanted to find the meaning of life and they found it in Christ. And then living for others. And God wants us to live an exciting life. And not just be satisfied with the monotony and the boredom of life. God wants us to be more excited and be happy in our life. And the third one, like Magi, let us have the ability to submit or to obey. The wise men did this once. They found Jesus. And offered to him the best of everything. So let us submit to his will and authority. Because his will and authority are the best for us. And like this Magi, we too, let us, SSS, not the social security, huh? let us see, let us search, and let us Submit, and surely we will find what we have been looking for all these years. And to all of you, happy solemnity or the feast day of the Epiphany. God bless us. Amen.
Please rise as we confess our faith. I believe in one God. Especially for Sai and Melda Wigley, Velma, Gorda, Isidore, and Joseph Cozy, for whom this Mass is offered. May they rest in the peace of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Amen. And in the silence of our hearts, we offer to the Lord all our prayers and intentions. Send your light, O oh God, into our world to draw us to yourself. May our lives reflect your self-giving love and our efforts draw others to you. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. to sing Christmas songs for this year.
Pray, brothers and sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, our offerings in honor of the appearing of your only begotten Son and the first fruits of the nations, that to you praise may be rendered and eternal salvation be ours through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when He appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of His immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hopes and powers of heaven, we sing the name of your glory, as without end, we acclaim. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sins. Do this. In memory of you. The misery of faith.
celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us for you, to be in your presence and minister to you. How do we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ when we be gathered in the one with the Holy Spirit? Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Mary, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember us, our brothers and sisters, of honesty and the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your person, especially Sai and Melda Bini, Vilma Grantera Isidoro, Joseph Cousin, Renato Pantai, Edna Javi Cabrera, Elizabeth Cruz, Carol Henry, Marilyn Cabato Asano, Emilianita Cachola Cabal, Adela Cotillina, and Jennifer Oberlin. And welcome them into the life of your faiths. How merciless all be pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Bernadette, Saint Magdalene of Canossa, and Saint Joseph of Bucky, and all the saints who have wish you through all the ages, will be very good years to turn alive, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shows forever and ever.
love of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord. spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. Renewed by sacred nourishment, we implore your mercy, O Lord, that the star of your justice may shine always bright in our minds, and that our confession may ever consist in our confession of Him through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Knights of Columbus, come and get some breakfast prepared by the knights. The breakfast starts Sunday, January 8th, after the 8 and 10 a.m. Masses in the Monsignor Leon Moore Hall. Breakfast platters are $10 for adults and 5 for children. Walk for Life. We are collaborating with St. Luke's and the Cathedral of the Annunciation to take a group to San Francisco for the Walk of Life West Coast. If you would like to join us, please call the office and reserve your place with a donation of $33. The deadline for reservations is Monday, January 16th. Word of God Sundays. On Sunday, January 22nd, we will celebrate Word of God Sunday. Pope Francis invites and encourages us to read the Bible more often. Our pastor will have a special blessing after all Masses for the Bibles used in our homes. Please bring your Bibles. And before I give my final blessing, may I ask the birthday celebrant, please come forward. And aside from Gawi, so anyone is celebrating the birthday today or this week, please come forward and uh, we'll pray for you. May I invite you to help everybody to please rise and we pray together for the 75th birthday of our dear God. With your brothers and sisters, each year, as we celebrate another birthday, we recall the gift of life which we have received from God. And today we give thanks for our parents and all those who have loved, nourished, and taught us of God's love. And so we pray. They ask you to extend your right hands towards the garden. Prayers of Garden Council, your servant, who recalls the day the day of his birth and rejoices in your gifts of life and love, family and friends. Bless him, O Lord, with your presence and surround him with your love. That he may be pleasing to you. We ask that yes, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And God, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his patience upon you be gracious to you. And may he look upon you in thanks and give you his peace now and forever. Amen. Amen. I know we need to shower, not for a shower. Oh, Lord, okay? For blessing of God. And happy birthday. Okay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Why do we have to pray for God's blessing? And let your response be Amen. May God has called you out of darkness into his wonderful life. Pour out in kindness his blessing upon you. And make your hearts firm in faith, hope, and charity, now and forever. Amen. And since in all confidence you follow Christ, who today appeared in the world as a light shining in darkness. May God make you too a light for your brothers and sisters, now and forever. Amen. And so in your pilgrimage is ended. May you come to him, whom the Magi saw as they followed the star, and whom they found with great joy, the light from life, who is Christ the Lord, now and forever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you, and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Our mass has been robbery. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks. Thanks. Have a blessed night, Tom. Thank you. Thank you.